Welcome. So we're going to talk about ZTP and the benefits that ZTP will have with an Arista switching infrastructure. So I'm going to walk through step by step from the ground up how to build a ZTP server if you have absolutely nothing in your environment today. Um, of course, more than likely you're going to have something, you're going to have a DHCP server, you're going to have some other things. So maybe not everything will be applicable to your situation. I just want a, a whole video that goes through everything involved with that. So this is a clean Linux server here. Uh, it's on 20.10, which is the newest version of Ubuntu as of this recording. So we're gonna start off and wrong screen there. We're gonna install ISC DHCP server. And so this is gonna be able to um, allow us to run DHCP off of this Linux server. Now this is not the norm for a production environment, right? You would already already have a DHCP server, maybe Windows or Linux, um, but in this case, I wanna actually install it here just so that um, we can demonstrate all the steps involved in this process. So we're also going to install TFTPD. And I always forget you need that dash HPA on the end of that command to install TFTP. Now, once we've installed these two things, we're gonna to need to edit nano, is it, etc. yes, DHCP, DHCPD.conf. We need to edit our configuration for a DHCP server. So I'm just gonna grab this one because it's easy, it's right here. We're gonna modify my subnet is 1002 and our subnet mask for this network will be a slash 24. So our range here, we're gonna have 0200. We're gonna have 20 through 200. Oh. And then our routers, that's just going to be 2.2. .2. And then we're going to have another option here, option TFTP server name. And then we're going to have importations 10.0.2.10, which is this server that we're on right now. So We'll save that config, right? We got everything looks good. <clears throat> so then we will sudo service isc dhcp server restart. And then we will check on the status. So we'll see here that it is running. Most important thing right there. That's good. So now we can move on. So DHCP is running. It should be working correctly. And we can check that by going over to our Arista switch over here. Oop, I was in the wrong. And showing our IP interface brief. And we'll see management one is unassigned. So if I show it, it should have DHCP, if I have no IP address, IP address DHCP. And then it will show, so it, there we go. So our DHCP server is working. We've got an address on our management interface um, on the switch. So that is a great start. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to, I'm gonna exit out of management configuration there, is I'm going to copy um, from Flash. And what's great about Arista is I can actually do a question mark and see my files and I can actually tab complete as well for my configuration file. So I'm gonna look here and there's going to be a, let's we'll see, we've got a start config here. That's what we want. We also got boot config and some other stuff. Um, the actual EOS right there. Um, but for this, we want to actually do our startup config. Now I can hit tab and complete that, which is awesome. So next we're gonna put where we're gonna put it. We wanna actually put it on TFTP. And then the IP address is, I do we need two? 
don't know if there's one or two slashes here. I think it's just one. 10.0.2.10. So uh, destination file name. So we will need to have start start up. Okay. So we'll see error copying TFTP file not found. That's probably because we didn't set up our TFTP server. <laughs> so <clears throat> we installed it. But you know, Citra defaults TFTP DHPA. So we need to add an option here, and it is create. So now once we've done that, we also need to go to the file. Um, and if I just cat this file here, I show it, you'll see that the directory is SRV slash TFTP right there. So we will change directory. Well, we don't have to change directory, actually. We can change the permissions on that folder. We need to sudo that. So that should change permissions on the folder. And we also allowed creating through TFTP. Now let's go back over here and try that again. File not found. Let's try with it. Just one. So we'll see, we have connectivity. Oh, you know what? I bet you I need to restart pseudo system. Restart. And what's the service name? PFPD. And then check our status. We'll see it's running. Okay. Now let's try that again here. There we go, completed successfully. I apologize for that. Um, so the command we use, by the way, just to make sure that you're aware of the final command here is this command. So right, we didn't need a slash here. Um, and so we can see here, if we ls to, oh, what was that? SRV TFTP, we'll see their startup config is there. And if we actually cat um, SRV TFTP startup config, we'll see an actual configuration is there. Now it doesn't have a whole lot in there, right? It's not really the point of this video. We just want to see stuff like hostname Arista, and we have an interface management with DHCP on it. Uh, but one really, not, not zero, we don't need zero. Just one. So that's really all that's in our configuration there. Uh, we do have a, a boot uh, password on our A boot. I, I did a video on that uh, a little bit earlier. So now that we've got a startup config, let's see if ZTP will actually work. So what we're going to do is, if I can find my cursor here, Looks like that command doesn't work. Um, so there is a command which I should know off the top of my head, but I will look up here. So that's a boot. Let 
you just won't complete. Yeah. <clears throat> so what we can do is we can do ZTP enable, I think. Or is it zero touch? I guess it's no zero touch disabled. We can go, we just, just go into bash. Um, mount and flash. And if we do an LS here, we can um, actually move the zero touch config and call it zero touch config dot hold. Okay, if we exit that and we reboot the switch, it should, um, Reset. It should actually that resets the console apparently. System. That's not what I'm reboot's not on command. I should have sent it from bash. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes things are just easier in bash. <laughs> so restart the switch and ZTP should automatically enable. It should pull a DHCP address from the management port um, from our ZTP server that's also running DHCP. And you'll see that um, VirtualBox doesn't like it when it restarts itself. It looks like, oh, you know what? I probably enabled ZTP, but I, I didn't delete my start config. <laughs> um, so we'll move mount flash startup config. To flash startup old, and then we will wait. So, if you guys are curious, I'm actually in Arista's documentation here. So Support. Blah blah blah. Failed to get validated when you retrying these requests. Oh. I could cancel the ZTP. Zero touch retry one more time. Oh, and there it is. So that was it. That was what I was missing. It was just that. Just that one line there. 
And so you'll see a switch restarted again. And these two right here, so I grab my pen. Uh, now if you're using DHCPD, you can write them like this. And something like a Microsoft, um, Microsoft DHCP server, you would have 66 and 67 here. Um, of course, if you've done stuff with voice over IP phones, booting and auto configuring over um, a DHCP, you should be used to these. Um, these DHCP options, um, you would need a, a similar thing for uh, IP phones. And in some cases, if you want to pixie boot, you could also use these options. We have host name of Arista. That's good. Log in, enable, and show run. And you'll see here that we have DHCP configured on both management interfaces, and the host name is Arista, just like in our uh, configuration on our. Uh, TTP server, ZTP server right here. So really, um, just kind of in summary, ZTP is not a really complex idea. Um, a lot of people could look at ZTP and say, this looks confusing, this looks complicated, I have to get some kind of whole infrastructure together. Really, you know, it took 20 minutes and, um, and a little bit of knowledge and I was able to get it working here in a lab environment. Um, and so now you have all the tools, all the information you need to set up ZTP on your network. Um, and you can download, uh, if you wanna set up a lab, you don't have Arista in your environment or you don't have the freedom to uh, play around like this, uh, like some of us do, then you can actually download this VEOS absolutely for free. You just have to sign up for Arista um, on Arista's website. And you can download this uh, lab version of EOS just for these kind of purposes. And of course, Ubuntu as well is also free. Um, Ubuntu is just my Linux version of choice. Any Linux version would work just fine. Um, with any other kind of DHCP server, any other kind of TFTP server, um, you name it. So with that, thank you for watching and go out there and automate some networks.